And there came a day, a day unlike any other, when Earth's mightiest merchandise assembled to appease the fan that no single merchandise could appease. Though their roster has changed, their glory cannot be denied. Let the cry ring forth. Avengers, assemble! Greetings, your Asian Kent here, and today I'm talking to you about the brand new subscription service, Marvel Collector's Corpse. Now this is a brand new service, similar in vain to Loot Crate and Geekbox, where you will choose a subscription plan, and based on that plan, you receive a certain num number of boxes. Uh, with the Collector's Corpse, it's a bi-monthly service full of goodies. Now, it is touted as well, you pay cost $25 per box, and they say you're going to get roughly $50 worth of exclusive merchandise. We are talking, of course, in US dollars. There are two plans at the moment. You can subscribe to either the collector's plan, which is your one-off box, or $25, or the founder's plan, which is the annual plan, which costs, of course, $150. However, on the anniversary of your plan, you will receive a free statue, so long as you renew your plan, of course. So, let's have a look at the first box, Avengers. Uh, actually, well, the plan for the box is for them to tie into the latest Marvel, either the Marvel Cinematic Universe release or events in the comic book. And of course, the Marvel 8 sequel, the Avengers sequel, that is, Age of Ultron, in cinemas now. So, first box, Avengers. Okay, let's see what we have. Okay, so we have a Marvel Collective Corp pin. There it is. Oop. We also have what looks to be a patch. Of course, the face of Ultron there. Alright, we have a vinyl fig adult vinyl figurine, another Ultron. More coming soon. Marvel Series 1 Guardians and Guardians of the Galaxy. Now this is probably what everyone's gonna be after. They were using this item to promote this service because it is a Marvel Collectors Corpse exclusive. I uh, must say mention as well that this Collector's Corp is a partnership between Marvel Comics as well as Funko who are the creators of the ever collectible pop vinyls and so we have this 6 inch pop vinyl Hulk Buster quite a hefty quite a heavy pop vinyl actually uh, just to compare it size this is the size of a regular pop vinyl this is the 6 inch pop vinyl There's a comparison there like I said you can see right here, Marvel Collectors Corp exclusive. So I'm have to say I don't think you're going to be able to find this one in the shops. I'm sure you'll be able to find it on eBay. In fact, I can guarantee you'll be able to find some on eBay at a huge markup. There's quite a few of them available from the US. However, I have only seen two last time I checked on the eBay Australia website. Uh, one of them was going up for $90.00. With still a couple of days left, while the other one was $72. Only a couple of hours left on that one. I'm not exactly sure what they're going to end up going for, but I normally see the 6 inch pop vinyls that go for around, I think, $35. The ones that I've seen anyway um, in the stores and at the shows. So it's a big markup. Big markup. But like I said, they did say $25 US for $50 worth of merchandise and by all means if you're going to resell it you resell the pop vinyl at least I'm sure you're going to be able to make your money back that is of course if you want to sell it it's an exclusive come on t-shirt now there were four designs uh, this looks to be the Hulk design I'm not exactly sure which of the other characters are on the other three designs I'm sure you'll be able to easily find that on the web and also the final one on free comic book uh, Guardians team up number one variant cover so there you go like I was saying $25 US for a 
box, not including postage and handling, but like I say, 6 inch pop vinyl, retailing well over $25 US, plus the t-shirt, well, let's see, I've, cheapest I've seen Marvel licensed t-shirts is $12, so for an exclusive one we'll, we'll go with $20 just to be, just to be conservative. New release comics, they generally retail for around $5 Australian, but we're talking variant cover, which always has a markup. Dorps, I have absolutely no idea how much these are. No idea. But, we'll go with $5. Just to, probably around $10 they'll end up being on Australian. Patch and pin, easily $50 US of merchandise. So by all means, if you want to learn more, or if you yourself choose to subscribe, then you want to go to the Collectors Corp website. You can also find them on Facebook. Like I'm saying, future boxes. Uh, well, the next box, anyway, I know is going to be Ant-Man. The movie, of course, Ant-Man, going to be released in a couple of months' time, starring Paul Rudd. It'll be interesting to see what the future boxes will contain in them. Uh, but by all means, if you want to subscribe, go for it. Go to the Collectors Corp website, like I said, or if you're still undecided, well, then I'm sure I'll be posting another unboxing video of the Ant-Man box in a couple of months' time. But until next time, be harmonious to one another.